In this video, we're mostly going to take a look at how your posts look on the front of your website. But before we get there, I want to show you a little bit more about the admin area. This is called the Posts Admin Archive, and it's found by clicking All Posts here in the admin area. There's a variety of pieces of information you can see right on this page. You can see a title, the author, categories, tags, how many comments, and the date it was published. Date and title can be clicked to order by that, so that you can get alphabetical titles, or you can invert the date so you can see oldest first instead of most recent first. If you click an author or categories, or tags if there were any, you could see only posts by that author or category or tag. Above the list here, we have a bulk actions option, and you can bulk edit or bulk move to trash. We'll look at bulk edit in just a moment. You can choose to see posts from all dates or only a given month, or you can choose all categories or a specific category. In the top right here is a search box. Once you get more than a dozen or so posts, it can be very nice to be able to search for the post you're looking for. Under Screen Options, you can choose what columns to show. So if you only have one author, it's kind of pointless to repeat it over and over, so you simply remove it. If you're not using categories and tags, you can get rid of those as well. You can set here the number of items per page. The default is 20. If you want to bulk delete a number of them or bulk edit a number of them, it can be handy to set this number higher to something like 100. If you get too high, though, then it can take too long to get all that information from the database, and the page will time out without giving you what you want. If that happens, simply set the number lower and try again. We can also choose Excerpt View, which gives us some information about the post. If you hover over the post, you'll see that there's Edit, Quick Edit, Trash, and View. If we quick edit a single one, we can change the title, the slug, the date, give it a password or make it private, change categories and tags, allow or disallow comments and pings, and change the status or make it sticky. If you select many of them and click Edit, Apply, you can change parts of that, obviously not content specific, but you can change categories and tags, author, comments, status, format, pings, and sticky. And if you accidentally got one that you don't want included, you can simply remove it. Once you're done, you can click Update, and it changes all of them. You could do the same thing with Trash. There. Now I've trashed all my posts, but I didn't really want to do that, so there's a button right here to undo. Now let's take a look at what these posts look like on the front of the site. This is our home page, and right now it's set up to have the blog on the home page. We're not going to want that long term, but we'll change it later. But right now, this is called an archive. We have titles, author, category, date, and the text, published in chronological order. Now this is called the home page archive when it's right on the home page, but there are a variety of other archives. One of them is the search archive. So let's search for grow, and it found one, and it says search results at the top. This is called the Search Archive. Over on the right here, there are monthly archives. and You can click to see posts only from that month. In the URL, you'll note that it shows the year and the month. There's also a Category Archive, which shows us posts only from that category. Right now, we only have one category, so it's all our posts. But if you use categories regularly, 
and it can be handy to see posts only from the growth area or the parks area or the construction area. Under recent posts, you'll see that you can click on an individual post, but you can also click on the title of any post. And this is called a single because it's a single item, a single post. At the top, we have the title and the same meta information that we had before. But now we also have the option to leave a comment. Normally, it would ask for name and email, etc. But since I'm already logged in, it knows who I am. So all I need to do is put in a comment. Here at the bottom, we have what's called pagination. We can go to a previous post and, if one exists, the next post. If we're on the oldest post, we don't get previous. This post has a comment, and so we can see it right there. And we can even click Reply to reply to it. So as you can see, there are a number of ways that you can present your posts to your readers. And you'll want to check each one of them when you get a new theme to make sure that it looks good no matter where your reader is looking.